what? What are you doing? Yeah, you better be good or I'm gonna have AT&T come and cut your wires. Hey, welcome back. If you've been following my videos, you've probably seen the type of uh, AT&T installation that I had from some very poor technician that came out and just completely destroyed my wiring. He cut all kinds of stuff. As we discovered uh, as of yesterday, even some of the things that were cut that we didn't even know were cut, such as my alarm panel wiring, uh, that's been disconnected and damaged. And In addition to removing a bunch of phone jacks and gutting a bunch of wiring from this building and things just weren't connected or working at all as they should have, as well as me being misinformed as to where I was supposed to be putting my DSL modem, which clearly wasn't here, it was all the way on the other side of the store. We had a really good technician come on out here and remove the 66 block that was on the wall which was all just contorted and wires wrapped around it and knotted and messes things that were just cut that didn't need to be there anymore it's just it was a mess so we ended up taking the lines through the conduit and into a little box here where it runs through a DSL filter and then it feeds the two phone jacks and the third jack on top which is DSL only so that gets our lines functional again uh, in addition to that the wiring to the PBX system has been restored and put back the way it should be all of our modems are lighting up again and functional as they're supposed to be and they're also not a mess this technician was also the first technician to not only not make a mess but to ask for and use a garbage can here's the old 66 block all the junk wires and any of the extra jacks and adapters and just junk that we didn't need anymore he actually put it in the trash can instead of throwing it all about over here and just making a mess speaking of mess now it's a great opportunity for me to clean the office this place has been in just total disarray while I've been fighting with this uh, AT&T situation and I, I can say that in the end I am satisfied with what happened but I can't say that I'm happy I I'm just saddened that it took a little over six weeks uh, 40, 45 days I believe is the exact number of days for this to from the day that the service was ordered until the day that I can say everything is actually functional I was actually going to give some bad news in this video, but it turns out I don't have to because my phones were not ringing yesterday because the numbers were not provisioned properly. So there was no solution that I had as far as forwarding my numbers to my cell phones or forwarding to my home phone or something. If the numbers aren't provisioned correctly, the numbers never rang at all. And that's what was going on over here is a lot of people that tried to call us couldn't get through. The phone would ring and ring and ring, but our phones didn't ring on this end. So they were calling into a black hole. That's been resolved. Uh, Anthony Summers was our technician to handle all of this wiring, and he also went above and beyond and handled all of the uh, reprovisioning of the numbers and the other assorted problems that we had that were not associated with the wiring here, but rather that was on AT&T's side. I, I can say that I'm pleased that things are working finally. I would say that since this little YouTube series has hit the internet, that we'll probably be receiving some uh, better customer service down the road, and. Um, Anthony did say himself and that AT&T is working on making corrections to, to make these uh, problems uh, better. And this is coming from a technician, not coming from a supervisor, but rather coming from a technician. And technicians, I've been one for a long time, I've also done supervising, and I would say that technicians usually know better than what the supervisors do as to what's going on because they see it firsthand. They're not actually getting stories from people or, or just hearing the complaints on the opposite end. You know, they, they actually have their hands dirty and they get to see what goes on. So, Anthony, you, you've, you've done us well. Thank you very, very much. Thank you, Mark McManus. Uh, you called us from the uh, DSL um, support office about getting this all straightened out and making the connections necessary to make this happen. So, once again, thank to, thanks to you, too. Anyway, it's going to be business as usual. Once I get the uh, office cleaned up and clean up all the garbage that's all over the place and just computers that are moved around and just stuff has just been thrown everywhere as a result of trying to trace wires that run all over this building to try to get things working again. But we're just happy that things are working the way they're supposed to be. And that's just the way it should be. Things should just work. <laughs>